Hey guys, welcome to another box opening. This time it's for old Chaos Trading cards. This is Evil Ernie Series 1 by Chrome Productions. It's the first ever trading card set Chaos Comics released. And it's a 100 card base set. There's 36 packs in the box and 8 cards per pack. And there's a special Chromium Chase card set and you have the possibility to find some um, autographs. So I decided to open all the Chaos boxes. I'm currently trying to find all of them on eBay because it's not that much. There's a, I already have the second Evil Ernie box and there's a series 3 of Evil Ernie box and um, some Lady Death sets which I will buy at some point. So let's see. So the packages have shifted a little bit in the box. I hope that's not a concern to the cards, but I don't think so. And what I really like about them is the looks. The, the chromium, the, the ones I've opened so far were all chromium or foil cards. So let's get right to it. Okay. And take a look at these cards. Ah, so okay, they're Certainly not chromium cards this time, they're just regular trading cards it seems. And they're a little bit sticky, so here we have Evil Ernie on a motorbike. And these seem to be all images taken from the comic books, so mostly Stephen Hughes artwork. A little bit sticky, but I don't seem to be damaged by that. Oh, Steven Hughes portrait, nice. Okay, honestly I'm a bit underwhelmed, I was hoping for nicer cards, some character designs, I mean there's some nice images, this Lady Death by Steven Hughes looks cool, and there we already have some duplicate cards. So I guess they're mostly retelling what happened in the first two Evil Ernie mini-series. So there's not that much to talk about. What's this image? Okay, so there's not only images taken from the books, but also some exclusive images. So, let's see how many of the Chrome cards we can find at least. Okay, right off the bat there's a bunch of duplicates. But it's a fairly small set and I should pull a lot of cards from these packs. There's Brian Pulido. Young Ernest Fairchild. That's a nice cover. I think from the Resurrection series. This should be from the trade paperback. Mary Young. Uh, 
and another Lady Death. This card seems to be a misprint, I don't know, or whatever, this makes no sense. So the artwork is a bit shoddy, this looks cool. And the same card in one pack, very nice. again Ernie in the crosshairs so like usual afterwards there will be a recap and I might be inclined to skip the video ahead at some point because I think this is not that interesting also a lot of duplicates but that's expected, There's, I should pull roughly 240 cards from this box, so I should at least easily complete the base set. Would be annoying if not. Oh, and there we have a chrome card. Oh, and that's very nice. That's a Steven Hughes cover. One of my favorite covers. I think that's Evil Ernie Resurrection number two. The second cover to the second mini series. And more Lady Deaths. Some nice artworks are in here. Also another nice Steve News, Evil Ernie. And this is a comic book that they also released, Lynch Mob. It had nothing to do with Evil Ernie. I think they're just promoting it with this series, but there was never a follow-up and it wasn't in continu continuation with the regular Chaos Universe, so I guess they weren't very successful characters. And there's supposed to be some other not Evil Ernie related cards from series they planned on putting out but never put out, as far as I know. We'll see when we'll come to them. More Lady Deaths and Evil Ernie. <laughs> okay. This one looks interesting. I 
I mean, like this. Why would you include this into trading card set? It's just a page or some panels from the comic book. And also this one is a blown up panel from a comic book. Doesn't look very good. This one on the other side looks good and it's an exclusive image by Steven Hughes. I don't think this was put out in the comic books. And this example, this was a splash page from um, one of the Evil Ernie comics and the whole image looks amazing, but they just cut it out and put it on this card, I don't know why. With the speech bubbles, it just doesn't look very good. And they did, did that a lot. Although this image looks better, but... I mean, it's nice artwork by Stephen Hughes. This hair looks great, but... I don't know. I would have picked other images. The two lady, three Lady Death or Chaos boxes I opened so far looked a lot better. They were all like the Chrome and Chase card I put. But what can you do? Leonard Price, his biggest adversary. Also, I'm a little bit surprised they did not use more of the uh, covers. Okay, that's an image I've not seen before. For example, this, the crawler. I assume this was something they were planning up to bring out here. Coming in 1994 from Chaos Comics is the crawler about a publicity. A dot superhero by day, vigilante by night. This never came out. <laughs> but they're promoting it in this set and I think there's a few other books that never saw the day of light that they try to promote with this set and It's also a very cool image, but it's also just a panel from the comic book. Oh, doesn't seem to be a misprint, just a very badly constructed card and this is also an awesome image this is a cover image I don't exactly know from which issue but it should be also from the resurrection ah and another nice chrome card this time it's Lady Death, that's cool. So here's what I got out of this first Evil Ernie box. I did not complete the base set, which is very annoying. I'm missing seven cards, which is a lot. I was expecting to get to get the full base set because roughly two-thirds of the box were duplicates, which is just terribly annoying. Also, the set is a bit underwhelming. 
I was hoping for more original art or at least a better choice of pictures they use. There's some nice ideas here, like this, um, where they put Evil Ernie against the original Ernie, Ernest Fairchild. And some, we have these two character designs which look cool, but then there's a lot of stuff, just panels taken from the books. And I don't think that it, this works very well. And here you can see the first missing card. Also, this card I think is definitely a misprint, but they just left it in the, in the series because the top and the bottom of the card or the picture are missing. Just gonna show it off and it's, Evil Ernie dying in the Neurotech um, machine, which changes him to the supernatural character he becomes. And here are the next two cards missing. And as you can see, these are all images taken from the books. And I don't know, why would you choose this image? It's also, it's just too much blown up. It becomes blurry and doesn't look good. So then we come to some of the better images, which are covers. I don't know why they did not use all the covers, because these are three covers from the first Evil Ernie miniseries, but they're missing two of them. Then we have one of the reprints, and this is a trade paperback cover, and this is from the Resurrection number one. I think this is number two, three and four, so at least we have the covers from this series. This was the number zero one-shot cover where he destroyed Washington. And here we have some, I think these are exclusive images, I haven't seen them before and they look okay. And here we have more of the better looking images because these are all suited for cards, not like the panel cutouts. And here we are missing, I'm missing more of the cards and then we come back to some panels from the comic books, but not the worst ones they chose, so this one looks cool, whatever. And some more comic panels intersected with some Stephen Hughes Lady Death images which look nice. And what I think is a cool idea is that they included images of the two creators, Steven Hughes and Brian Pulido. This is something I've never seen before in a comic book um, related trading card set. And I think in some instances this could be done more often, but whatever. And I noticed right off the bat that I'm not completing the set because I was, <laughs> I'm also missing the checklist, which is annoying. And these are mostly the chase cards I found. I found three of the chrome cards, one, two, and three. And there are six you can find. And I found this sweepstakes card, which is definitely not usable anymore because this is over 25 years old. And the cards were a bit sticky, so you also have to look out for that. A lot of the cards were not very good condition, but they're not completely destroyed. So I had the possibility to look for the best cards on the ones I found. And I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna buy another box. I'm thinking about it because I still want to have this set complete, but um, they are rather expensive and it's only viable if I get lucky and find the three missing chrome cards, but yeah, we will see. So next up I'm gonna open Evil Ernie Series 2. I'm hoping to have better luck with that. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.